My name is Sausen and I'm from Learn Bangla. So I'm the founder of Learn Bangla. First of all, before I even get to the story, let me give a special thanks to Bangladeshi community for reaching out to me and telling me to share my story. Um, my story is just of a passionate girl who's a third culture kid who wanted to know the roots of her culture. So if you don't know what a third culture kid is, I was born and raised in Saudi Arabia and my parents were Bengali. So a third culture kid is a kid whose parents are Bengali, well, whose parents are a certain nationality, but they were born somewhere else. And I know there's thousands of people just like me living in the Middle East, living in Canada, Europe, United States. So I make my videos for all these third culture kids who, who know that they're not, you know, who know that deep inside their heart, there's a Bengali alive in them, you know? Um, I would say that being raised in Saudi Arabia, we were really blessed to have a great exposure to the Bangladeshi community, Bangla language, and at the same time, having a multinational exposure as well. Because our classmates were Arabs, Africans, Westerners, you know? And seeing them, I used to feel like, wow, you know, I am different from them. I do think differently, I do act differently. And I was curious about my culture and I wanted to show my culture to them. So to start off, like the sari, today I'm wearing a sari. It has the monuments of Dhaka city. And I loved the sari ever since I was a kid. I promise, I loved it ever since I was a kid. I think it, sari makes a woman look so gorgeous, so beautiful. Um, the Kathak dance, that is our traditional dance. I loved the Kathak dance, the way the men and the women do Kathak dance, especially being in a school where the, there were so many multicultural students, each of them showing their culture. I used to feel proud to show the Kathak dance. Now, I didn't know enough about my culture yeah, I spoke Bangla at home, I did. And my Bangla was good, um, but I wanted to know more, you know? So uh, I started studying about it and I found out that it's the fifth most spoken language in the world with 300 million people speaking it. Can you believe that? 300 million people speaking it. So in 2013, I started making YouTube videos to teach Bangla to the people and to teach the culture as well. I mean, our culture is beautiful. Why not spread it, you know? Um, then much more recently, I think in about 2020, I created some online courses. I have three online Bangla courses that you can learn from. They have this easy ones, which you can just show a flashcard and do a regular day conversation, as well as a more advanced course, which teaches you how to integrate in a wedding, um, how to talk Bangla when you are traveling. And while doing these videos, I actually showed, brought out our culture. You know, for example, for the wedding video, I uh, actually did it. My own brother got married in Bangladesh and I took his um, wedding videos and I showed it. So people who are not familiar with the Bangladeshi wedding can see it and see how, what it's like and as well as learn the language. For tourism, I went to tourist places like Calcutta, Cox's Bazaar, Silet. I did videos while I was traveling. I showed the nature, the country, and I taught the language. So this is a great platform for people to learn the language as well as the culture of Bengal, which is so, so beautiful. The links of these courses, the YouTube video, the Instagram page I'll give below. Finally, let's not end this without saying that, you know, um, try to take moments in your life to know more about your roots, who you are. I actually, after my studies were over, I went and I worked in Bangladesh for several years. Yes, I did. When I went in there, my spoken Bangla got even better. 
বাংলা অনেক ভালো হয়ে গিয়েছিল বাংলা আরও ফ্লুয়েন্টলি বলতে পারতাম বাংলাদেশি কালচার আমি দেখেছি আই সো দ্য কালচার ফার্স্ট হ্যান্ড আই সো দ্য পিপল ফার্স্ট হ্যান্ড নাও দেয়ার আর লট অফ রুমার্স এবার হাও বাংলাদেশ পিপল ইউ নো বাংলাদেশ হ্যাজ দিস প্রবলেম বাংলাদেশ হ্যাজ দ্যাট প্রবলেম ওয়েল ইউ নো ওয়াইট আই ফাউন্ড আউট বাই স্টেইং দেয়ার দ্যাট ইয়াস দ্য প্রবলেমস আর দেয়ার বাট দ্য বেনিফিটস আর দেয়ার থ্রু দ্য বিউটি ইজ দেয়ার থ্রু হ্যাভ ইউ হার্ড অফ পয়লা বৈশাখ The Pala Boishak festival, it is so beautiful. Yes, it leads to traffic because the entire country is out on the streets. But the people, isn't it so much fun to be with your friends and family on that special day? Every single person wearing the same color, red and white. Lal abong shada. Everybody wearing red and white. So whether you are from a different religion, different age, gender so even the men and the women they're both wearing red and white the entire country looks the same the entire country is color coordinated it is so beautiful so you know appreciating that knowing that there are problems yes but appreciating the beauty that we have in us that makes us stronger as a human being stronger as a community it makes us preserve our language in 1951 uh, there were martyrs people died to save the bangla language and 2023 we are here shouldn't we assist them somehow in continuing their language in fact when they gave their lives this is the only country in the world in the world who went on a war for the language and that's how the unesco mother language day came about you know um the other day i went to the library they were celebrating UNESCO Mother Language Day and they had languages displayed and there was no Bangla. Why? We created the UNESCO Mother Language Day and our language was not there at the library. Um, so it is up to us to know more about our language, to appreciate our culture, to love our roots and to spread it. So, you know, uh, if you are not comfortable speaking Bangla, watch more movies, watch more TV shows, watch my videos. Uh, if you don't want to speak and you just want to know the, know the culture, sure, follow, my, follow me on the Instagram page. I give so many uh, videos, photographs of how my life was when I lived in Bangladesh. Like, where do we hang out as friends? The best place to hang out as friends, do you know? Tong, cha tong at dokan. So, cha is tea, it's a tea stall on the streets. So anyways, lots of love for you all. Thank you so much for listening to me blabbing and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Thank you again Bangladeshi community for having me here. I hope I was able to inspire some people to look beyond and identify their roots. Thank you. Have a great day.